What's up, Bala Babes? So, today, I will be showing you guys how I trim my ends. Um, I know a lot of people with curly hair do it different ways, you know. Some people get a blunt cut, you know. Some people go one by one like I do. I go strand by strand and just cut whatever I see that needs to be cut. Uh, me, personally, I feel like that's the better way to do it because I personally don't like the blunt cut look. But it is cute. It's just not for me. But, um, yeah, so... I personally, I like, I'm going to demonstrate <laughs> this little curl. Um, I like, I would take this, go to the end, see what needs to be cut, and then I would just cut accordingly. And so, yeah, I go, I section my hair off into fours. And then I do each section one at a time. I'm going to shower and stuff. Y'all know I just came from working now. Y'all know y'all girl be getting her little workouts in. But, um. I'm gonna shower and wash my hair. It's been about, it's been a week since I washed my hair. Um, with curly hair, like you really don't have to wash your hair as often, but it is good. Um, I would say not to wash it as much, but you should co-wash. And if y'all don't know what co-washing is, it's when you wash your hair with conditioner instead of shampoo because shampoo dries your hair out so the more you wash your hair um you know the more dry your hair is going to be co-washing is good <laughs> along along with your um deep conditioners and stuff like that so um yeah i'm gonna hop in the shower shampoo my hair y'all right now i haven't taken my bun down like this whole week i know that's kind of bad but you know it happens <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to detangle my hair and all of that hard work. I wash my hair with Aussie Miracle Moist Shampoo. Um, I use one with the avocado and Australian Jehovah Oil. Um, so, this is what it looks like. As y'all see, shampoo, avocado. Yeah. So, this is the brand of Aussie that I use, which works for me. You know, it may not work for everybody, but this is what I use. Um, and I also detangle my hair while I'm in the shower um, with the conditioner. And I use the one also with avocado and Jehovah oil. So, there we go. So, y'all can see. So, yeah. Um, and I also, while I'm in the shower, let me show y'all. Um, I always use wide tooth combs. I know many people with curly hair use different kind of combs and brushes and stuff, but me personally, I like using wide tooth combs because it just is easier for me. Um, I know y'all have like the other brushes, the detangle brushes with the smaller prick, uh, pricks and stuff, but um, to me, it kind of... It kind of knots my hair up instead of detangling it. But I guess I would have to try like detangling with a wide tooth comb first. And then going back through and you know using that kind of brush to comb through my hair. It does make your curls tighter and stuff. Because um, I know for me um, I have two different curl patterns in my head. So like it's kind of weird because this top part of my hair is like a square that part of my hair is more wavy per se and um the other parts around my hair around that section of my hair are more like ringlets curly they're more more curlier so um but i mean i use the same technique all throughout my head i may i scrunch the top part more than the back part because back part really doesn't need to be scrunched as much as this little section right here um so yeah so that's what i do wash my hair like twice all the way through then i you know rinse my hair and then go back in and put conditioner all throughout it and i section my hair off while i'm in the shower and i start from the bottom of my hair my ends to my root and work my way up because you don't want to start from top and bottom top going down to the bottom because it detangles your hair more and more hair can come out when you do it that way so that's why I start from the bottom 
detangle, 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 and just work my way up slowly until all of it, you know, and then just make sure. And then after um, I've done all sections of my hair, then I go back through and I, you know, split it down the middle and, you know, just brush all the way through, all the way through, all the way through, make sure all the tangles are out. Then I'll put it up in a bun and get out the shower. And then, um, yeah, I will show you guys my cutting process. Okay, guys, I'm back, and this is my hair wet. So, um, I have my scissors. I use the Westcott scissors. Um, these are like hairstylist scissors, but they're not dull scissors you never want to cut your hair with dull scissors so these are the scissors i'll be cutting my hair with and um i also use a spray bottle just in case my hair gets dry anytime i'll just wet it and spray it um so yeah and i have my conditioner here y'all for some reason the top on this conditioner will not pop up so i can't like press it down to where the conditioner can come out so i gotta do this you guys want to trim your ends as needed um some people say trim your hair every six months um me personally i guess i try to trim my hair like every six months because i get my hair dyed and i usually trim it thin and usually in about six to seven months my hair like you see the black in my hair i literally dyed my hair about three weeks ago and yeah the black is already growing in it takes about six to seven months for the black to get about right here i want to say and then that's when i'll re-dye it again and so um yeah um but me personally i dye my hair seven maybe eight months yeah something like that um but if i see that my ends just need to be cut i'll like trim here and there nothing like major um but yeah you want to trim your ends when you see them splitting of course because if you don't trim your ends um your hair is just going to keep splitting all the way up and you're going to have to end up cutting more of your hair eventually so um yeah so the ends of your hair are like the oldest parts of your hair and so that's why you have to take care of it in order for your hair to grow and retain the length and so um when your hair is dry and tangled or you notice that you have like small little knots at the end of your hair it's time for a trim sis <laughs> so yeah so i'm gonna show you guys how i trim my ends um i usually just section it off in four sections like i said which i will do now i have two i personally like this one more because it has like the little ridges and i feel like this one just detangles my hair better i don't know um it's just my preference i don't usually make specific parts in my hair I just kind of section it off to where I think is good so we're gonna take this pin it up I don't have any clips I sew I use hair ties so that's that side Yeah, see we have our two little buns at the that. <laughs> um so now I'm just gonna take this side and kind of twist it and just wrap it around this bun because I don't want to get any of my hair mixed up while I'm trimming it. So what I do 
a start at the bottom. Then I take that and just kind of put it up here. So yeah, I start at the bottom. My hair is still pretty wet, so I don't need to wet it anymore. Section that off. And I usually start from the back. And I know some people, they um like to trim their hair when their hair is dry, but I just personally like to do it when it's wet because I feel like it's easier for me to do. So what I do is I make sure all of it is detangled. And then I slowly go down. And when I feel like my ends are splitting, wherever I see that my ends are splitting at, y'all see how it kind of splits off a little bit around the little curl and it's kind of thin? That is where I cut. So that's what we're going to do. Hold the hair all the way down. See where you see your split end at and just trim. And then take this section, grab it, and move this to the back so that I won't cut that part anymore. So take it all the way down, stretch it out, see where you need to cut it, where you're splitting. And that is how I do my entire head. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. Then I will show you guys the final product. So, this is one section. Y'all, this is like the very back of my hair. This is like my shortest section, I want to say. And probably my most curliest section. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's that part. Now we're going to get to the main part of it. So what I like to do here, I just section this off again. And start with this. And I start from the back. Detangle. Look. And cut. Alright y'all, here's a really good split in that I have, so I'm going to show you guys. This one is really bad, and so I trace it, and this little scraggle right here, that is what needs to be cut. So, chop chop. Okay guys, so I finished the bottom part of my hair and here are the results, nice and clean. Alright y'all, so I did the back part of my hair now. I will do the front two sections of my hair. Y'all, I really have a small head. <laughs> like, what? But, we gonna get to it. So what I do is I take these down. And for some reason with my hair, since this is like 
the waviest parts of my hair these two sections are like the waviest parts of my hair these are so much easier to like detangle and comb through they don't really get tangled as much as the back section of my hair which is kind of crazy but like that was just so easy no tangles or anything crazy but yes yeah, so we gonna get to it so I always start from the back start from the back look at it all that right there yeah Y'all see this night? Yeah, all that got to go. <laughs> all right, so this side is done. Last side. All right, y'all, so I finished this side and this is the finished product. We're going to take this back section down. Well, having your ends cut, it just makes the detangling process so much easier and smooth. I guess, you know, just getting the dead hair off. And I guess, like, the ends just tangle your hair even more, so. It's just good to get it off. So yeah. So this is what my hair looks like. Fresh cut ends. So yeah, y'all, this is what my hair looks like. So if you guys want me to make more videos with my hair like this, comment below. Um, Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I will give y'all more content with my hair. Also, I could do like hairstyles, show y'all how I do certain looks and stuff like that. I feel like people always ask me how I do stuff like that and also like what products and stuff I use on my hair so videos like that will be coming soon all right like comment subscribe turn y'all post notifications on so y'all can be notified when I post another video and peace out